welcome to Aishi Dananda. Today, a special program, A Tale of Two Mayors. Both mayors of Gisborne and Dunedin are Chinese. Meng Fon is the mayor of Gisborne and Peter Chin, the mayor of Dunedin. Two very different cities with two equally different mayors. Join us as we meet them both. It's a Saturday morning and Gisborne's much-loved mayor, Meng Fun is doing what he loves to do best, helping run the local rugby league. No chains of office on show here. He's out in his community and giving it a go. Oh, sorry, son. In Dunedin, Mayor Peter Chin is welcoming visitors to his city the way he loves to do. And because so many of you are from outside of Dunedin, let me say to you, Welcome to the south, to the deep, deep south, and to Dunedin town. Two cities, two Chinese mayors, but at one with the passion and pride they have for their city home. There's a touch of Bonnie Scotland in this place of high Dunedin, a university There's city. A Population, 125,000, and on the whole, quite conservative except when the students are around. It's the town, the city that I was born in, where my parents lived, and where I've lived all my life. So it's a city that I'm part of. I feel completely comfortable here because I know no, I know no better. Um, and it's a place that I'll spend the rest of my life. While these days it's the university that keeps the city economy ticking, in the 19th century it was Otago's gold rush that launched Dunedin's civic wealth. It gave the city an advanced infrastructure and a rich architectural history, and provides inspiration for Mayor Chin every day. Yet to, to see the photographs of all my predecessors, the predecessors in office since day one of the city, and, 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 and I, I passed that wall several times a day. It's actually, it's quite awe-inspiring to, to think that, you know, I am the latest in a whole lineage of people who have led this city. Peter's life has been shaped by the history of this city. His grandfather came from southern China in 1910 to make his fortune. But it didn't work out for him, so he opened a laundry shop with his son instead. It wasn't until 1940 that Peter's mother was allowed to join her husband in Dunedin. My late father there. It's just... Uh, so, so okay. that's my, my father there and, and my mother. Now, by that stage, I was born in March, she would have been about four or five months pregnant with me in, in October 1940. So it's, it, for me, that's a very, very special photograph. But there was too much competition in the laundry trade, so Peter's parents opened a fish and chip shop. And it was there that Peter grew up, right next to the council chambers. There was a, a block of of shops, there was, from memory, there was, a, there was a barber, and then next to that, there was a, uh, there was a lending library there, and right on the corner, there was a little wee dairy, and, the, and uh, the old lady that used to own it, she used to make her own pickles, and the smell of cooking pickles mixed with the fish and chips smell is something awful, and there was a, there was a and I suppose the, 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 for me, w when I was sworn in as the mayor, it was it was a hugely moving kind of moment. Thinking back to you know, where our family had come from and the opportunities that that, that I have had you know, because they were able to be here. Peter's understanding of his personal heritage makes this regular ceremonial duty all the more poignant presiding over the Oath of Allegiance at Dunedin's citizenship ceremonies. And you reflect on the many people from all different nationalities who have elected to become New Zealand citizens, and, and you think through their stories there. For me, that is hugely, hugely emotional 
to, to be part of that ceremony, to be able to conduct that ceremony. And, and because we have 30 or 40 people each time, it's, something, it's, it's a ceremony that is actually intensely personal to many of them. And, and, and that to me, that kind of really, uh, it moves me. Looking after the city involves a very tight scheduled diary. Most days will include a committee meeting or two, as well as a catch-up with the local media. I'm prepared to consider anything within reason. And he always makes time for a chat with the locals. You've got to go to the Chinese Garden. Yes, down would love this, to have a look. Yeah. I, I operate an office which basically says, look, at my door is always open. If I'm there, I will, uh, I will uh, see whoever wants to, to, to see me. That then means that it's very difficult if you want to set aside part of the day to read or just to kind of quietly contemplate. Uh, so I do most of that very early in the morning. Uh, Pictures in it, uh, by... Uh, the, the, the types of events that I really enjoy most are events involving children. So I visit schools and I go, when I visit schools, whether it be to read a story or just to answer their, their questions, I go kind of in full regalia with, with robes and, and, uh, and chain. Now the robes are red, so often they think I'm Santa Claus, so I have to dispel that uh, uh, from them. But, but it's, the, it's the enjoyment they get because they think I'm famous. And of course, that's another chance to sing as well. Peter is an accomplished performer with years of singing, theater and movie and television roles. Where are they? If you leave quietly, you may leave with your dignity. Just. Lightning flashes in its nostrils. Its breath is hotter than a forest fire. See that nip? That's what you're going to carry for the rest of your life. I am a Kiwi. But his all Kiwi role as mayor is the most demanding of all. He copes with the demands with humour and good grace. Obviously, your name's been mentioned. They'd the be hoping you wouldn't get another term anyway. And well, I'll just see what happens. And I suppose I have a more, a, a very relaxed style of doing things. I'm not by nature a confrontational person. And uh, the, I, I'm sure that there are some in the community who would like to have somebody who is kind of more dynamic, who leads from the front and who kind of takes no prisoners and things like that. You know, and and that's, that's not me, that's never has been me, and I think I'm now a bit old to really try and uh, change. This is Radio Dunedin, Hits and Memories in Dunedin City, broadcasting on AM and FM with the Mayor of Dunedin taking calls until 11. Good morning, go ahead. Remember, me writing to you last year about the Green Lady traffic light, and I suggested that it would be a great idea to have them on alternate corners around Dunedin as a tourist idea. Perhaps it gets the interest of some people, uh, and, and others may not be remotely interested. In it. Yeah. OK, I think we'll, we'll leave it there. Yeah. Well, I'm not bright enough to be, or, or, or a good enough actor to be able to, to to play a, a role apart from being myself. And, and I think that that's, you know, I think in the main people accept that. that I, I suppose I'm pretty predictable. And, and, be, and because you're predictable, people then perceive you as being perhaps safe. G'day. <laughs> Welcome everybody, I'm Peter Chin and I'm the mayor of Dunedin and it really is a great pleasure for me to be here this afternoon to welcome you to the Age Concern Otago Spring Luncheon. So I'm very much aware of the dignity.